Ever wondered about the fascinating journey behind the creation and evolution of Depeche Mode's song, In Your Room? This song's journey, like many great works of art, was quite a challenging one. In an interview with Keyboard Magazine back in May 1993, Alan Wilder, the so producer and arrangement chief of Depeche Mode, admitted that the song was indeed a tough nut to crack. They recorded it in three or four different ways before finally settling on the version we know today. Interestingly, the rhythm and structure of the song were decided at a fairly early production stage. The team Flood and Wilder knew where they wanted the verses, choruses and middle eights to be. But the song wasn't complete there. Alan explained that when they reached the mix stage, it became clear that the song needed more embellishments. Alan explains, I went in and played drums along with the track in one particular style, then did it again in a funkier style and so on. The symbols after the word flames was a late addition. Since that's such an up part of the song, it felt necessary to add something at that point. We put it in at the mix. It's often not until you get to the mix stage that it becomes obvious that another part is required. When you're in the recording process, you've never got it sounding good enough to tell. So quite a few of those embellishments get put on at the mix stage, like backward symbols. Martin Gore, the lyrics and chief writer, says in a December 1993 issue of Rolling Stone, voiced his belief that In Your Room could potentially be a bigger hit single than I Feel You. However, he also pointed out the challenge of its length being six and a half minutes long, which he said was part of its beauty. In a reply to fans' queries on recoil.co.uk, Alan revealed some interesting insights about the song. The sound used in the first verse and at the end of In Your Room is a verifone. Alan further explains about the three notes in the middle of the chorus, which he affectionately referred to as splang, were derived from a guitar. Each chord was sampled individually and then double tracked with a different guitar sound. However, the song's journey did not end there. Alan Wilder, in his Singles 86, 98 editorial, expressed his disappointment with the remix of the song by Nirvana producer Butch Vig, which he felt had lost much of its original Depeche Mode character. Convinced of the song's potential as a single, Alan campaigned rigorously on behalf of the album version to the point where various different edits were tried, but was eventually outvoted in favor of a remix by Nirvana producer and current grunge darling of the press, Butch Vig. Unfortunately, as is often the case with outside remixes, Vig's interpretation did not relate to many of the aspects of the original and the track lost much of its Depeche Mode character, falling short of its intended sensuality and intensity. Alan, I really wanted the original version of In Your Room instead of the Zephyr mix. This is all a good example of the problems of democracy. Somebody usually ends up disappointed. To summarize, the creation and evolution of In Your Room was a journey of trials and tribulations, full of technical challenges and creative differences for Alan and co-producer Flood. Despite all the difficulties, the song stood the test of time and became a beloved hit among fans worldwide. However, it's important to remember that every great song has its own unique journey and In Your Room was no exception.